Uh, good evening, Council. Thanks for uh, having the Baseball Association here tonight, and thanks for what you guys are doing and some interesting times. Uh, I got on the board of the Baseball Association shortly after uh, my term as mayor, and uh, first meeting uh, was that was probably six or eight months ago. And you go to the room, uh, meetings are held out of the West Bend uh, elevator, and there's retired baseball players there, there's current coaches, there's umpires, there's a few guys that haven't given up the dream of making making the bigs um, and are part of the association keep playing baseball. And then there's there's Prudy there uh, defending uh, the history of West Bend the way that she does. But in the room, it's very obvious that there's a passion for baseball. Uh, it's the history of these guys, uh, but also a passion for specifically Rankin Park for the memories that many of them have made on the field in the dugouts, um, in the stands, etc. And they really, really want to have the next generation to have. Uh, the same type of experiences. Knowing, uh, as Mike mentioned, we've gone through a few fits and starts with the, the process over the last several years. Uh, knowing that it is a pretty narrow group, the baseball players group is pretty uh, small. Understanding that um, that the field itself really isn't used by the city proper that much. I think we had a little bit of a mud run go through there a bit, but it, knowing that it is really the baseball association, uh, the men's leagues, the high school teams that use it, uh, it's really what drove the organization and Craig specifically, uh, along with Pre, to keep fundraising. Uh, to date, uh, we raised privately over $1.3 million, and, and the Pre, I'm sure, would be happy to tell you she's got a few more doors to knock on. So, pretty exciting project. It's taken a little longer than anyone had expected, but the passion not only for baseball, but giving back to the park is there. So, thank you very much for your support. We're hoping to have a new field by late second quarter. Of, uh, 2021. The City of West Bend, the West Bend Baseball Association, hosts uh, several tournaments throughout the, throughout the year. A couple that bring in teams from all over the Midwest. One that brings in teams from all over the state. And then the West Bend Lily runs their Father's Day tournament, um, which brings in anywhere, um, each tournament brings anywhere from 24 teams to with the Father's Day tournament brings in anywhere between 75 and 80 teams into the city. They're all using restaurants renting hotels, um, and using all the city amenities that you guys have done a great job helping to support with the city. Um, so the, one of the big things that we wanted to do when we did this, and one of the reasons that we're going with synthetic fields is we'll be able to bring more people into town, uh, run more tournaments for the youth, do a lot more camps, and get a lot more people um, invested not only in baseball but other sports. Um, they can use the facility not just from um, typically the first of May to the end of August, but maybe the beginning of March because that's when high school baseball starts now mm -hmm. through the end of October into November. So it creates opportunities not only to um, do more things within that baseball window that we typically think about, but also uh, into times of year that, you know, they're Kids are looking for opportunities to continue to do things, and we have a facility, or we'll have a 